Welcome to resupply tutorial number two. My name is John and I will walk you through the steps of setting up your account on the charity portal. This is a complete list of all the information you will need to set up your account. Feel free to print this out, gather the information, and follow along with the rest of the tutorial. To begin, open any web browser and type in the URL https colon backslash backslash charity.resupplyme.com to go to your charity login page. This link is also in the description of this video. Before you log in, we recommend saving this page to your favorites. This will make it easy for you to navigate back to the login screen for future use. Once you've saved the page to your favorites, enter your username and password that were given to you by your customer success manager. If you forgot or don't know your login credentials, please contact your customer success manager for assistance. Once you've logged in, you'll be brought to your main page, which is the calendar view. Before we get started with the rest of the training, let's go over a quick page orientation. Along the left side of your screen, you will see your menu with all the available features of your charity portal. From the menu, you can navigate to any portion of the portal and it is always visible. If you prefer to minimize the menu, simply click the three line icon in the top left corner of your screen next to your name and it will minimize your menu bar to icon view only. In the top right of your portal, you will see a bell icon. The bell icon is your notification center. You will receive notifications for any new pending donations and changes made to existing donations. To hide your notification center, simply click the bell. To acknowledge a notification, click OK, got it. To the right of the bell, you will see your name to let you know who is logged in. If you click on the drop down arrow, you have the option to view your personal settings or to log out. Those are the basic features for your site orientation upon logging into your charity portal. Now we will begin setting up your charity portal account. Toggle over to the Manage Account tab. This is the main tab to set up your account. Once you have navigated to the Manage Account section, in the Basic and Contact Information sub-tab, you can change the cover and logo images. The cover image on the left will be seen by donors on the Resupply Donor app. The logo on the right will be used for any fundraising materials you create within the portal. Next, ensure that the address of your store is accurate. This address serves as the default start and end point of your trucks when utilizing the route optimization features, which we'll cover in later trainings. Next, check your contact information. The email addresses and phone number you have listed will receive either email or text notifications of activities from the charity portal. Once updated, make sure to click Save. Next, click on the Logistics tab. In the Restricted Items field, list out items your store does not accept. Separate items by semicolons and these will show up on your online request form when donors submit a pickup request. You can also list out high demand items. Again, separate your items by semicolons to list them out for donors to see on your online request form. Next, fill in your organization's mission statement. This statement is visible to donors on the mobile app and allows them to learn more about your organization. You can also list pickup instructions in the pickup process note section, such as we only pick up items from the first floor and items must be disassembled prior to arrival. Next, make sure to update your tax ID. This will show up in the tax receipt sent to all donors. Don't forget to click save. On to your daily pickup schedule. In the default weekly schedule tab, you can establish your weekly pickup schedule. Let's say your store only does pickups every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You will first select a day of the week. Next, write in the average volume of pickups you typically do in the morning, AM, and in the afternoon, PM. This is the total number of pickups for all of your trucks combined, which will set the limit for donors requesting pickups for those days. Next. Add the zip codes of the areas you will serve as pickups. 
If you have a long list of zip codes, you can copy and paste the list as long as there is a comma or space separating the zip codes. They will populate in the entry field. After you press save, a green box will appear to let you know it was saved. If you need to change the schedule for any reason, maybe it's a holiday or maybe there is a day you need to go beyond the set zip codes you have in the default schedule, you can make a schedule exception. Click on the schedule exception tab and add exception. Let's say you want to block off Christmas. Toggle over to December 25th and for AM and PM pickup capacity, enter zero. Now, for all donors using the mobile app or donation website, Wednesday, December 25th will be grayed out and they will not be able to select it as a pickup date. Next is the Tax Receipt Builder tab. The image on the right is a preview of the tax receipt that the donor would receive in email after a completed pickup. For your tax receipt, you can customize the logo, text color, and you also have 1,000 characters to modify your disclaimer and add any other notes that you would like to include at the bottom of the receipt. After you are happy with the way it looks, be sure to click Save Tax Receipt. The last item for setting up your account is registering your trucks. To do so, click on Fleet Management, then Truck Registration. Select Add Truck to begin registering your vehicle. You will first need to upload an image of your vehicle and write the license plate number. For app users following their truck, they will get to see this picture and license plate number so they know what to look for. Finally, assign a color for this truck to distinguish this truck in the other features such as route optimization and live tracking. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your account and are ready to go live. Continue to video 3 to learn how to manually add a donation, accept pickup requests, and more on the calendar.